Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much to my subscribers. Welcome newcomers. I hope you guys like what you see and if so, be part of this journey with us. One big happy family. Uh, please, if you have not subscribed, for the ones that are just walking in, please do so. It's free, you know that. Hit that bell notification to be notified of the new uploads. I also have a private crochet group. You're more than welcome to join us and the beautiful queens there. Um, as long as you have a profile pic, I uh, also have a Facebook page. You can follow me, Instagram, and also TikTok. All of these links will be below in the description box. Uh, all you have to do is just click below and click the links, and there you go. Uh, thank you so much for the women that have come through to help others in need of thread, either through donation or sending out the thread yourselves. <clears throat> Excuse me. Thank you so much. Um, also in the description box, there is a two minute video for people that need to know how to slow down their video and turn on your closed caption, zoom in the screen to see the stitch better. Um, so that's just two minutes of it. A lot of you still don't know how to do that. Uh, you can click there and check it out. Okay. So we're going to get started. These are four ply, hundred percent cotton thread. We go by color number here in Portugal, not by name, especially with this brand. These are similar thickness as Aunt Lydia number three. Cotton Aunt Lydia number three is a little bit thicker, so your patterns become bigger. You should know by now, if your stitch is too tight, go a hook or two bigger. If it's too uh, loose, go a hook or two smaller. We don't want to have a baggy pattern and uh, we're going to get started. I use most of the time 2.75 hook or a three, depending upon the pattern that I'm creating, a small one to tuck in, loose ends, and of course, a pair of scissors. Okay, everyone, thank you so much again. Okay, everyone, so I'm gonna start with 38 chain stitch. One, two, three, four, until we have 38 chain stitch. I've done my 38 chain stitch. I'm going to go back on my seventh chain. So counting out the one on the hook, one, two, three, four, five, six, on my seventh chain, grabbing those two loops. We don't want to curve like a, a U shape and then creating groups of three double crochet, one per stitch. Okay like that two chain skip one two into the third one and again creating groups of three double crochet almost until the end so i'm going to continue skipping two chain and doing two chain space up here skip one two into the third one, double crochet, and again, and again. So I'll meet you at the end. This is basically row one. So I have six groups of three double crochet, and I have four stitch left. I've done two chain. I'm going to come on that last stitch here with slip stitch. Then I'm going to come inside and do single, two chain, and again another two double crochet. So I basically have a group of three double crochet, chain two. Coming into the next one. I'll try to fix this a little bit more. If we want it to be a little bit more straight. So I'm gonna do a slip stitch going through here like that. And here again. Okay. 
going to come in, sing on two chain, and create my group of three double crochet. Now, if you don't want to do it this way, you could just go up that way if you'd like. Chain two into the next block. So this second row, I'm creating seven blocks now of three. Chain two into the space, and again, create three double crochets, groups. Okay, until the end. I'll meet you at the end. This is row two. Okay, everyone, so I'm down to my last one, which is on that last loop. Now, I'm going to grab inside of that chain there so nothing comes apart, okay? And we can have a nice straight flat line. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Next row we'll have six. So we're going to continue doing this back and forth. One, two, three, four chain only. And create your groups again. We want to have a nice straight line going up. We don't want any curves on the sides. Chain two and create again. So, so simple, so easy. This is perfect for a beginner. And we should have six. So basically, then of course at the end we'll be hooking on the last one here. So as you see here, we have the six groups of three. I've done my two chain. I'm going to come in, not inside, but right on top of the double crochet there. So we can have a nice straight line going up. Okay. So next row, we're going to have seven, and then six, and then seven. So just a little reminder, each time you finish doing that one double crochet, you come in and do your group. So two inside of the two chain space, okay? Then two chain and proceed into the next block. So creating those little blocks and the three uh, double crochet groups. So very simple. Okay. Okay, everyone. So I pretty much finished creating the length that I want for the dresser. So I have 53 rows of these little blocks back and forth, 53 rows. Now here's the index suggestion. If you want to go longer, you have to keep increasing by eight rows. That gives you a heart shape. It takes eight rows for the heart. If you want to go wider, after you have done your 38 chain stitch, multiples of 20, that will give you again four groups of the three double crochets to start the foundation for um, another extra heart up top because we only have one heart so you'll have two so every after your 38 chain every 20 chains okay and from here eight rows so i have 53 rows we're going to start now on the white So I'm going to do my slip stitch knot. I'm going to turn it sideways and I'm going to start not at the corner. Make sure that you are on the right side of the pattern. So I'm checking the right side of the pattern to be make sure from the where we started. Okay. So I'm going to come into 
that second little square there. We're going to build groups of three double crochets. So I'm going to have two groups, one here and one here, for three double crochets. So that's my first double crochet, single two chain. You can start however you used to doing your first double crochet. Some of you or a lot of you are with three chain. So I have my first group, chain two. Coming into the second group of three double crochets. Chain two. On this third group, I'm doing four double crochets. This is going to be my first foundation of the first heart. So four double crochets, chain two. On the next three blocks, here, here, and here, I'll be doing group of three double crochets. Chain two. So I have my first group. Next little block here. My second. My second group of three double crochet. Chain two. And my third group. Three double crochet. So we started with two. We're not working the edge yet. Two groups of three. Four. Two chain space one two three groups now I'm going to do four double crochets again for the second foundation of the second heart so four double crochets and two chain and again three groups of three double crochet again this is going to be proceeded like this until the end Two chain space always. So I'm on my second group and my third group. And then the next one is four double crochets. Okay, so two, four, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, until basically we hit the end. Once we hit the end, we'll have only two after we do the fourth. That means not counting the corner. We'll have one, two here of three, and this one will be four. So we do the last four, and we'll have two groups of three. And then we'll work on the edge on the corner. Okay, so it has to end up the same way as we started. I'll meet you at the end. Okay, everyone. So I'm on the last group of four to chain and create the two groups of three. Exactly how we started this row. Okay, So three double crochet and going into the corner with eight double crochet. So two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Now, we have one, two, three, four, five, six groups of four double crochet. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen groups of three double crochet. What we do on this side, we must do also on this side. And of course, the corners are all the same way. Chain two into the next one with group of three double crochet. Chain two. 
again, three double crochet, chain two, and on this middle one, four double crochet. So these four double crochets are the foundation of the hearts, chain two, and of course we're going to create two groups of three double crochet exactly how we did here. So you got to repeat on the other side the same thing, chain two, and my second group of three double crochet, chain two, into the corner with the eight double crochets. So all four corners have eight double crochets. So three, four, five, six, seven, and eight double crochet. And now we repeat exactly how we started here with the two groups of, of three and then four. Three groups of three, four, three groups of three, four. And that's how we're going to repeat on this side. And then, of course, at the edge here, we'll do exactly what we've done here. So this is row one, I'll call it, because we are done with the blue here. So we'll call this row one. And I'll meet you at the end. Okay, everyone. So finished row one, a little white. I'm going into row two. I'm going to come back in the same stitch, single, one, two, and three. So my single one chain, which I stretched enough to give me the size of a double crochet, and two for space in between. So we're doing only one double crochet here, and here we'll do the three double crochets. Chain two. Now where we have the four double crochets, we're going to start increasing for the heart. So two here inside of this little square, one per stitch, and two on the last square here. So we should have a total of eight double crochets. So two more inside of this little square. Two, four, six, eight. And everywhere else will be three double crochets. So chain two. And the three double crochets. Chain two, and again, three double crochet. When we get to the four, we do two here, and then one per stitch, and two here to have the total of eight. I'll meet you there. So two chain, three double crochet. So I've done my three double crochet, two chain, and two double crochet. We are where we have the four double crochet. So we're just repeating. And this is how we're going to work until the end of this row. One per stitch and two inside of this last square here. So we have a total of eight double crochets again. And of course, uh, when we get to the end, to the last one here, we're going to be doing the three double crochets and one only double crochet, of course, two chain and one double crochet, exactly how we started here. Okay, so where we have the space here, we'll have two groups of three double crochet, exactly how we have here, and then two inside, one per stitch, two inside, total of eight, and then again, repeat the, the groups of three double crochet. I'll meet you at the end of my row. Okay, everyone, so reached my last one and did my two chain and my one double crochet. So if you noticed, all of the other ones in between is two groups of three, okay? And that will be exactly the same thing on the other side. So now we're at the corner. 
We're going to do the two chain. I'm going to come in that first double crochet with double crochet. Into the second one with two double crochets. So in the corners, we're going to have three groups of three double crochet. Chain two, skip a stitch into the next one, double crochet into the second one, two double crochet in the same stitch. Two chain, skip a stitch into the next one, double crochet, and on the last one, two double crochet together in the same stitch. So that's pretty much what it looks like. Two chain. I'm coming into that first double crochet with one double crochet only. Chain two and create a group of three double crochets. Chain two into the next one. We have the fourth, so you know that we have to do two double crochet and one per stitch. So we can have the eight double crochets for the hearts foundation. And two on the next block. So we're basically just going to repeat what we've just done. Two chain, group of three double crochet, Two chain and one double crochet on the last double crochet. Two chain and now we repeat the corner the same way as we just finished doing. One on the first double crochet, two on the second double crochet together. Chain two, skip a stitch into the next one. One double crochet and two in the next one together. Okay, so you're pretty much just going to repeat exactly the same thing on this side, on the other side. And what we've done here, we're going to do exactly the same thing here. So I'll meet you at the end of row two. Okay, everyone, so I finished row two. Going into row three on the white, I'm going to come back in. Create my single and two chain. Now I'm going to come into this one here and create the three double crochets. Like that. Chain two. We're still going to increase here on the heart. So two double crochet and one per stitch. So now we are to have 12 double crochets. On the next row, we'll have 16 because we're always going to increase here on the beginning and at the end. Two double crochet again. So now we have 16, uh, 12, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, chain 2, and create your group of 3 double crochet, two chain, and again repeat the increase for the pineapples. So we're going to continue to do that. Now we're going to have only one group in between the hearts all the way to the end. Coming to the end, we got to do exactly as we did here. The one double crochet on top and two inside. So that means two in here and one on top. Okay, so I'll meet you at the end. Okay, everyone, so we've reached the end with the two inside, one on top, chain two. Now, we're going to do an increase on these groups of three at the corner one per stitch and on the last one two together so now we have four double crochets chain two 
again on the first one, one double crochet, on the second, one double crochet, on the last one, two together. Chain two and repeat the same thing. One double crochet goes for all four corners on the last one, two together. Chain two, coming on top of that double crochet with one double crochet, two inside like we've been doing on both corners the same way. Chain two and two double crochet for the increase of the hearts. So we'll have 12 double crochets here on the edge on the edges at the end of the pattern. And two inside of the space here. So four double crochets, two chain, four double crochets, two chain. That's the increase on the last double crochet, two double crochets on the same stitch, two chain, one on top, two inside of the space, two chain, two double crochets, and again your 12 double crochets. So we're going to repeat exactly what we've just done all the way around the same way, and I'll meet you at the end of row three. Okay, everyone, so finish row three, going into row four. Again, I'm going to come back in. It's going to be only one double crochet like this one here. So I'm stretching my thread a little bit more. So I have single and one chain. That's my first double crochet and two more for space. So now we are going to increase again inside of the little square here, two double crochet and one per stitch. That means this time we're going to have 16 double crochets. And also the next row is going to be exactly a repeat of what we're doing now. One double crochet only also on here, two chain and the 16 double crochet. And that will be on row five. So exactly, we're just going to repeat row five, what we're doing now on row four, 16 double crochets. And row five also will be 16 double crochets on top of each double crochet. Okay, no, no increase on row five. Two double crochet here at the end. Okay, and then two chain and proceed with the 16 double crochets again. That means two here at the beginning and one per stitch. Getting to the end will be exactly the same thing as we've done here. One double crochet only on the last one two chain and then we're going to do the increase again on the last one here. So on this row uh, four we will have five double crochets and row five will have six double crochets. Okay but I'll meet you at the end of this row. Okay everyone so I, I've reached the end of my row, done my one double crochet, two chain, Getting into the corner groups, one double crochet, two double crochet, three double crochet, one per stitch, and on the last one, two together. That's our increase. So we have five double crochets. Chain two, and again repeat. One, two, three. four, and five. Chain two, and again, one, 
two, three, four, and five. Chain two, one double crochet only, chain two, and do our 16 double crochets. So two inside of the space here, and one per stitch, and two on the next space. So we're just going to repeat exactly the same thing as we just done. Don't forget, once you get here, one double crochet only, exactly as we have here. I'll meet you at the end of row four. Okay, everyone, so finished row four, going into row five. Like I've mentioned, row five is a repeat of row four. So I'm going to do my single and my three chain coming in on top of that double crochet from the 16 double crochets. And we're going to repeat the 16 double crochets. So nothing to it. It's just a repeat of row four. One per stitch. So we have the 16 double crochets, two chain, and again, 16 double crochets. So it's just a repeat now. And when we get to the end, we'll do one double crochet over the double crochet like we did here at the beginning. And then in the corners, we're going to do one per stitch on the last one, two together. So we'll have six double crochets this time. That's all there is to it. One on top, two chain, one per stitch, and on the very last one, two together. So we have three double crochets, four, five, six, next one, seven, two chain space. That's all there is to it, and complete your 16 with two chain space between them. So I'm going to continue my row, and I'll meet you at the end, because it's just a repeat. The only difference is one increase, and there is no difference. We've been doing the one increase to begin with on the last double crochet. That's all there is, two chain space between it. I'll meet you at the end of my row five. Okay, everyone, so finished row five, as you can see. So we just did the increase. So we have two, four, six, and the 16 double crochets, your two chain. So going into row six, going to change up a bit now. Coming back in. Doing my single, my one chain and two for space in between. So I'm going to create seven double crochets. One per stitch. That three. Four. Five. Six. And seven. Chain two, skip two stitch, going to the next one. Two chain space, and again, your seven double crochets. Very simple. So now we're just going to start the end of the hearts, completing the hearts. Two, four, six, seven. Chain two. And repeat again the same thing. The seven double crochets. All the way around the same way. Two chain space. 
skip one, two, into the third one, and double crochet, completing the seven double crochets also. That's all there is to this row, six. So once you get to the end, we're going to do one double crochet here, as we did at the beginning. Two chain, do one per stitch, coming to the last one, two together. So we should have seven double crochets on this row six. One, two, three, four, five, six. This is row five. So row six will have seven double crochets. I'll meet you at the end of my row. That's all we have to do. Okay, everyone, so finished row six, going into row seven. One, two, three, four, five, six. This will be the last row in the white for me, but you can continue the same color or do your pattern all in one color. So single, two chain. That's my first double crochet, creating my groups of three. So this row is all about groups of three, chain two. I'm going to skip the first two double crochet, come into the third. One, next stitch, two, next stitch, three. One, two chain, skipping the first two inside of the center here with three double crochet group. So it's all about groups of three double crochet all the way around. Chain two, skip the first two, go into the third. One, two, and three. Chain two, skip the last two, and again. So that's what we're going to do all the way to the end of this row. So you skip the first two again into the third. Always skipping by two. Okay, so I'll meet you here at the end of my row. Right here. Okay. Okay, everyone. So, done my last group here. I'm going to do my two chain. And here on the corners, stay the same as one per, sti per stitch. And the increase on the last double crochet, two together. So we should have eight double crochets on the corners. Two inside of the last one here. And two chain space again. That's all we're going to do. Just groups of three, except in the corners will be one per stitch an increase on the last double crochet. Total of eight double crochets per motive here. And one more on this on this one. Okay, so I'm going to tell you how many groups I have. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25 groups of three. I'll meet you at the end of my row. I'll cut my thread after this and come in with the blue. Okay, everyone. So, finished row seven. As you can see, it's all groups of three, except for the corners. One increase at the end, eight double crochets, two chain space between the groups. Okay. So now we're going to start with the blue. We have three rows left. Very fast, simple, and gorgeous, right? So this row eight will be about just chain stitch. So I'm going to start where we've been starting here on my double crochet, single, and I'm going to do five chain. One, two, 
three, four, and five. <clears throat> five double crochet, or five chain, I should say. And actually, not on that one, in the center here of the block. Okay, so, oops, almost knocked my camera down. So we're going to go inside of the space here and not on the double crochet. I don't know what I was thinking. Single. One, two, three, four, five. Into the next space with single. One, two, three, four, five. Into the next space or should I say square, single. So we're going to do uh, chains of five all the way until the very last one here, just before the corner, because then we're going to do only four chains on the corner. I'll meet you there, okay? And I'll let you know how many I have of chain five. Okay, everyone. So I've reached just before the motives here on the corner. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five chains of five. Now we're going to do chains of four. One, two, three, and four. I'm going to skip one, two, and I'm going to come in to the third one. Chain four again. This is only on the corners. Chain four. And I think I did five. Skip one, two, again. Single. One, two, three, four. Into the space here. One, two, three, four. Skip two into the third. One, two, three, four, skip two into the third. One, two, three, four, chain into the next space. Pull some thread here. One, two, three, four, skip two into the third. One, two, three, and four. Skip two into the third. And my last four chain. One, two, three, and four. Into the space here. So we've completed the corner this way. That means I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Um, nine chains of four. And then back into chain five. Two, three, four, five into the space. So we're going to repeat that until we get chain five here. And then again, skipping two into the third with chain four, exactly how we did here. So you're to have nine chain fours again. So one, two, three, four, and five. One, two, three, four, and five. Only using the little block spaces. One, two, three, four, and five. One, two, three, four, and five. And this is the last of the five. So basically, we have one, two, three, four, and five chains of five at the edge of the pattern. And then we start now chain four, two, three, four, skip the first two, come into the second, the third, one, two, three, and four, skip two into the third again, and then into skip two into the little blocks. So you're to have nine of chain four. I'll meet you at the end. Okay, everyone, some of my last four chain on row eight, 
Closing it in that single with a slip stitch. We have two more rows left. Coming inside that five chain with a single and two chains. So I have my first double crochet. I'm gonna complete eight double crochets inside of this five chain. Actually in all of them. Well, not all of the, the five chain loops, but yes, two, five, you'll know what I mean. So two, four, six, seven, and eight. Coming into the next five chain with a single. One, two, three, four, five chain. Coming into the next one with single. And then directly into the next one with eight double crochets. This is how we're going to repeat the row, including the corners, the same way. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Directly into the next five chain with a single one, two, three, four, five chain into the next one single and going directly into the next one with the eight double crochets. This is how we're going to repeat this row all the way around the same way. I'll meet you at the end. We have one more row left and we're done. Six, seven, eight, single. So eight double crochets into the next five chain with a single directly, five chain into the next five chain with a single, directly into the next one with eight double crochets, all the way around the same way, including the corners, all the same five chain stitch. Okay, everyone, so I just completed row nine, going into the last row, row 10. So I've closed in that first double crochet with a slip stitch. I'm going to come back in, single, and my two chains. So that's my first double crochet, and three more for peacock. So I'm gonna come in that third chain and close in my peacock into the next one. Next stitch, double crochet. One, two, three. Now, from here on, I'm going to close my peacocks this way. I find it easier, nicer. So into the next stitch, double crochet, three chain. Coming in that double crochet and closing with single peacock into the next one. Again, double crochet. One, two, three. Coming in that double crochet and single. So we're going to do those nine double crochets with peacock. Into the next one. One, two, three. Coming in. Single peacock. Into the next one. Only the last one, we don't do peacock. So I have my last double crochet and just double crochet. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight double crochets and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven peacocks. I'm going to come in directly into that five chain and single and then start on my first double crochet again with double crochet. One, two, three. So it's just the repeat now, the same way all the way around. One, two, three, and again. Double crochets, three chain, peacock. Double crochet, three chain, peacock. And again. Only the last double crochet, we don't do peacock, okay? So eight double crochets like the previous row and seven 
peacock. So you can do your normal peacocks if you'd like. I prefer it this way. And my last double crochet. No peacock. And then come directly into that five chain and single. So this does it for this tutorial. I'm going to um, block it and then light iron steam over it so it can be nice and flat and straight. Take the measurements, put on display on top of a little dresser here, um, just so you guys can see. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. I want to thank every single one of you. God bless you. I send you much love, much hugs, and peace. And until next time, everybody, bye-bye.